Oh, look at this guy. He goes up to 270. What a stunning fellow. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. There's another one. Today we are out here in New Zealand, and today we're going to be hunting fallow deer. Today I have with me the 303, and I would also like to do a little bit of bow hunting for some monster fallow. If you do enjoy the video, guys, make sure to hit that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. We're going to head right into it. Now, this is a really gorgeous fallow, and I would love to take him with the bow, but I have an absolutely horrible win. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take the long route, and we're going to have to come in from the other side. And that's what we're going to do, because... I would love to take him with the bow. Now, since we are going to be doing a little bit of bow hunting, I think I am going to put my pooch away because the dogs, the bloodhounds can definitely spook your target when you get that close up when you are bow hunting. So it's just better not to have your bloodhound with you. Okay, so we snuck up the other side and I just about spooked these fallow. I think he... He's not running away yet. Maybe, just maybe we can get him with the bow. I don't know where the big one is. I haven't seen him yet. It's not the easiest to see from down here. Let's have a look and see if he's still here. I'm going to call them in. Now, I can use my bow from prone because I do have the like a pro perk and you're going to find that under archery and that allows you to take your shots from prone, which is very handy. Oh, here comes the big one. There he is. Perfect. I think we got him. Um, I think we did. <laughs> I hope we did. I hope we did. And here comes another really nice buck. This guy goes up to 230. So some pretty nice big max estimate level four fallow here. He down. He is down. All right, not too many spooked. Still have this guy and he is calm, so let's try and get him as well. I'll be very excited to come back here for respawns. We have taken down quite a few fours. We've taken down two fours and there's one more. And we took that one really nice four earlier from this area, so. Four max estimates. We can get this guy, all right. Ooh, I got him! Oh, I, I don't think I got the big one. I, don't, I think I got a non-vital on the big one. Oh, what is that? He needs to die. He's got a wonky, a little bit of a wonky rack. All right, give me an angle, bud. You can do it. Alright, here is this guy. He is a 181. Not too bad. And that was a left long shot. <laughs> Went right through and hit the humerus. And this one. 186.3. Ooh. We almost maybe messed that one up. But we didn't. I think we messed the big, big one up. I don't think he's a diamond anyway. He ran... And that guy is a 189.5, and that was a beautiful shot. That was with the 303, and that was a fleeing shot. Perfect! Yeah, some really nice fellow. So I think I got non-vital here, maybe. The biggest one. Of course, and there he is. And oh, too high. 48 meters, I probably, I don't remember, but I might have been zeroed for 60. And that made all the difference. 217.8, pretty nice fallow, and we muffed it. But that was a lot of fun nonetheless. You can't make all of them. Let me show you where we are on the map. So this spot here is awesome for fallows. I start up here at Wika Hut, and I run down here, and I run all the way down here. Or you can start over here, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, and you can run this way, but you will find fallow and feral pigs drinking along this side of the coast. Awesome spot. 
We got some fallow here and I spooked him. And that is a not too bad one. Let's see if we can't grab him. He dead. We got him. Any others? Would you like to die too? I got him. Now the reason I am staying on the right hand side of the river here, most of the fallow are gonna be on this side. The reason I normally do run the other side and spot across, but I'd love to take some of the bow. So I am gonna run on this side. And if we spook them up like we just did, that's all right. So the second shot was perfect. First one, not so much. And he is 200 right on the nose. Pretty nice fallow. So diamond for fallow is 251.7. Okay guys, so I have set up a tripod here and we're gonna do a little bit of bow hunting. Yesterday I was sniffing around here and I did see a level three melanistic fallow and he was in this area. So I am hoping he's gonna come back, but right now we have some nice big boys here. So let's call him in. Man, I can't believe the amount of humongous level four fallow on my map. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for the respawns. We have taken down quite a lot of them today and there are a whole bunch of them here. So I am using the single pin bright side bow sight and down he goes, sweet. The reason I'm using this sight right now and not the bright side rangefinder bow sight is because it is not working properly. It actually doesn't calculate the distances properly right now. So don't use it guys until it is fixed. I don't want to mess any of these guys up and I don't have a lot of practice with this sight so I am trying to get comfortable with it. So I find that they are spooking from about 60 meters or closer. If they're a little further than that they do figure out something's going on. Oh there he is! There he is! Oh my goodness, look at this guy. I know he's not a monster, but he is pretty awesome. Now I actually looked up the spawn rates of rare fallow and this is what I figured out and this is very fascinating. So piebald fallow deer have a 0.1% spawn rate or one out of a thousand. Now albino fallow have a 0.05% spawn rate or one out of 2000 and melanistic have a 0.02% spawn rate or one out of 5,000. So this guy is very, very rare. I only have ever seen one melanistic fallow and I do have it in my lodge. It is just a doe. So I am pretty excited to find a buck and we are gonna go after him with the bow here. Now I know he's not huge, but I still don't wanna mess him up. He is so cool. And he's right here on my map. That is kind of crazy. Here we go. All right, slow down, bud. Perfect. Yes, he is down. Yes. Okay, I think this big boy's gonna bolt. Oh, I tried to get a shot in there and he, he bolted just a split second too soon. And unfortunately we did not get a shot into him there. We missed, but it was a good try. We still do have a level three coming in. And this guy is out of here. But there's another nice big one on its way in. This is such a great spot. Unbelievable. All right, well, we might as well take another one down here since they're here. So when you are using the rangefinder single pin sight, oh, I got him. I got one into him. Wasn't a vital, but I did try. And he should go down from that. But we have another really nice one coming in here. And this guy goes up to 240 and he is down. Looked like that might have been a heart shot. So let me show you where we are here. This is such a great spot to drop a tent. I actually moved my tent and dropped another tripod or I added a tent rather because my tent was in the exact spot where I knew that melanistic was gonna be, but this guy is pretty nice. 199.5 gold, and this guy is a silver. 155.3 silver. And another silver. So yeah, this site is working great. And here is the melanistic, and isn't he amazing? I can't believe this guy is here. This is one of the coolest rares I've ever found. I am just <laughs> kind of 
kind of in shock. That is pretty amazing. So one out of 5,000 spawns will be melanistic. So if you are doing a fallow grind, could be some tough numbers. You may have to kill quite a few to get a melanistic. But this guy is pretty awesome. So he is a 159.6, he weighs 81.53 kilograms, and we managed a double lung shot from 14.59 meters with the CB70. And that is where we found him. So that is an amazing spot for fallow deer early in the morning. I love this red deer. Oh, love that red deer. Found him in the dark. But here we are with our fallow deer collection and this is our awesome melanistic. He's actually the biggest of all my rares. I certainly do have a tiny set, but at least we do have a set. We definitely have something to work towards. I would love to find some bigger ones, but I love this melanistic. He is pretty awesome. It's just too bad because I found a monster level four piebald fellow, unfortunately on the beta, so I couldn't keep it. Wouldn't it look awesome here? But we're gonna need to find another one. Maybe we'll grind some fallow. And these are my three diamonds from New Zealand. We're gonna be doing some more hunting there. Haven't done a whole lot. I absolutely forgot how much fun fallow were to hunt. I haven't hunted them in so long. I will be hunting them a lot more often, but that is gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Let me know in the comments how much you enjoy hunting in New Zealand and what your favorite thing is to hunt there. I would love to know. And if you did enjoy the video, guys, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. He's awesome. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.